Hey guys, Aspa here. It's uh, It's been a while since I've said that actually. It feels kind of funny. Um, but I'm back and today we're going to talk a little bit about what is a good healing UI and how you actually create one. Um, what add-ons you might need, like the essential ones and then the preferences. Um, in the background you're going to see my guild's most recent Mythic Council of Blood kill. So we can actually talk about my UI with some action going on in the background. So I can then easier explain why my UI is the way it is and how it's kind of evolved along the years. Um, after that, we have some screenshots of healing UIs from our lovely Warcraft Priest community, which I will then quickly review and give my feedback to try to help everyone who is looking to build an amazing healing UI. Um, so big thanks to everybody who shared their screenshots with me. It's going to help me a ton making this video. Um, now, let's get the footage rolling and start talking about the others and where to place information on your screen. So, first things first, let's talk about the raid frames. Uh, I have them at the bottom of my screen, in the middle. I'm using the default ones by Blizzard. I think uh, they're the best ones to configure. They're super easy to configure. And you never have any bugs because they're default. Um, you see everything you need to see. Um, then you can have the... I use the glass colors. But you can have everybody green and then they get colored for debuffs and stuff like that. Um, just a matter of preference. But um, you see uh, a lot of people who have their raid frames on either side of uh, their character. Left or right. That's okay too. But it's important to not make them too big, because the bigger they are, the more they limit your visibility. Um, and you want to see as much as possible, you want to have as much ground possible, so you know where to move, basically. Um, which gets me to the next point. And where you put your raid frames is where you want all the other relevant information when it comes to healing and raiding. So... Um, Above the raid frames, on the left side you have the player frame, on the right side you have my target frame. They are here um, because they need to be close to my raid frames. As a healer, you're healing, <clears throat> so most of the time you're staring at your raid frames. <laughs> because of that, you need to place all the other important information uh, close to your raid frames. Um, so, player and target frame needs to be close. Um, then, we get to weak auras. Uh, you don't know what weak auras is. Weak auras is an add-on that allows you to make, well, weak auras. So, what you see between uh, uh, my player and target frame is a Holy Priest weak aura string that shows me Prayer of Mending, Circle of Healing, Holy Word Serenity, Sanctify, Holy Word Salvation, Holy Word Chastise, Holy Fire, um, Fear, Dispel, Covenant Abilities, or Infusion, Guardian Spirit, Divine Hymn, Holy Word, Salvation, which I said already. And then if I have Prayer Circle or these kind of buffs, they appear here. So what this allows me to do is to hide my um, action bars completely. Um, you should know your keybinds by heart. Um, so you shouldn't have to look at your action bars uh, unless, well, for, of course you need to do for certain information, which is like the cooldowns of certain spells. But this is where weak auras come in. Um, with a weak aura string like this, you can hide all your action bars, uh, which gives you a lot more space again. Because hide everything that you don't need to see. Action bars you don't need to see. Um, you can have like a small action bar somewhere, like where I have my um, raid cooldowns. You could have a small action bar with the, some utility items and these like kind of things that you might use, like potions and uh, shadow core oils and flasks and whatever kind of mana potions, health potions, these kind of things, right? If you don't have the bond, but you don't need to see your action bars. You just need a weak or a string um, or a group of weak auras that tells you the cooldowns of the spells that you need to see, basically. Um, you can, of course, do it with action bars, but you can do it uh, easier, in my opinion, with a weak aura. Um, then, things like these here on the side, these are the buffs that you need to jump off 
Um, these are all weak aura strings. So weak auras are something that every raider should have because it allows the raid leader to make sure that everybody in the raid sees certain information in the same way. Um, so it's a massive help for all the raiders. Um, you should download it if you don't have it already. Um, then the next thing uh, I want to talk about is timers. So uh, you see timers here on the right side. And when it's below 10%, uh, 10 seconds, they jump here. The reason is that I don't need to know what's hap gonna happen like half a minute from now or something. It's relevant for me when they're happening. So all the information comes right in this area when it's relevant. That's why I have my raid cooldowns here. I have my inner raids here. All the information that I need to see is in one place around my character. Everything that's related to healing. And that is the most important thing that I can tell you is wherever you place your raid frames, whether it's here in the bottom, on the left or the right side of the of your character, make sure that you are placing all the valuable information in the same place. This is something that I cannot emphasize enough. But where you actually put them, will you put them here where I have them or on the sides? That's completely up to you. And <clears throat> as we're talking about preferences, um, my player and target and the boss frames here are shadowed unit frames. I kind of like the semi-easy setup you can do with them. And I've had them for a really long time. Um, but you can use any, any frames you want. Like, um, if you're looking for a package that's like, has everything in it, LVUI is a pretty good solution. It takes a while to configure it, but you only need to do it once, right? And then a few other words about information that you don't need to see. Uh, here in the top left corner, we have the damage done and healing done meters. Put them in a corner somewhere where you're not going to watch them. Far away from your information area. Because during the pulls, it doesn't matter how much damage or how much healing you're doing. Um, don't look at them. Never ever again. Um, then you see my incoming and outcoming healing and damage. Um, I don't like... I don't really look at the numbers. Um, I just like to have the animation on the sides. The default one that Blizzard had it has is, is pretty hazard for your eyes. But yeah, that's another matter of preference. Um, but these are actually the essentials when it comes to building a healing UI. Centralize your information to one place. Make sure that they are not taking too much space, but enough so you can keep track of everything. Um, and then the rest of it is pretty much preferences. Um, I've had a pretty long way when making UIs and this is what I've found best like at the end and I've been healing since vanilla um, so this is enough about my UI and now let's take a look at what everybody else is doing so <clears throat> first we start with another holy priest um, this is from actually Council of Blood also. Um, first of all, chat is quite big. It takes a lot of space. Um, preference maybe, but this space could be halved and this could be here. You could get see a little bit more. What I do like is that the information is centralized pretty nicely. Uh, we have the player frame. Say this is the target frame. Um, you can go max, heroic, so 30 groups. Kind of... <clears throat> Makes sense. A um, little big, uh, in my opinion, uh, because when you go full, you while well, like one third of your screen is not visible, so you lose a little bit of um, visibility. But all in all, quite clean. Um, I like the way you have pull downs here. You have, I'd say, this is an action bar. Information is set up quite nicely. Rate tools here. Another thing is like even this one could be a little bit smaller. Um, it's a little, it takes a little bit too much space in my opinion. But generally speaking, it's pretty cool. Um, 
a little big, but generally speaking, okay. Um, here's another holy priest. Surprise, surprise. Um, this is from dungeon. Um, so a little different. I actually mine is really similar as Null Factor has Fireman setup. Player target frame, uh, 3D general. Um, raid frames, I suppose, are gonna be here uh, in between, as I, I think I've seen his setup before. Um, one thing that I'm not a fan is having raid cooldowns and externals and whatnot in here, because now your eyes are going up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. Um, uh, details, bottom right, A okay. Uh, I like this utility bar here. Um, these weak auras, you have flash concentration, um, so you have these weak auras here. Serenity, Sanctify, Circle of Healing, Prayer of Mending, uh, Flash Concentration. So you could hide these. Um, you're taking extra space, basically. Um, then, yeah. Generally speaking, pretty good. Uh, I kind of like it. Now, Ansara. Um, <clears throat> this is, I think, another LVI based. Um, quite clean. This bar is very big, uh, it's taking a lot of space, I would imagine you could tone it down a little bit, maybe 30%, you would still see everything that you need to see, and that would also give you a little bit more space while you're moving, see <clears throat> behind your character, excuse me, I need to drink a little bit of water. <sighs> Alright, <clears throat> then, uh, actually similar thing applies to here, what was previously, you could hide your action bars maybe make a small one put it somewhere um like you can leave it here or like here where you have the utility bar um this is i think a little bit of ir irrelevant you have it here um if you want to see this information you can place it like uh here on the right side uh left side or something like that um but generally speaking really clean and crisp ui uh we don't see where the um, timers go um but Generally speaking, this is one of the cleaner ones I've seen here for a while, actually. Um, then we get to Ceres' uh, <coughs> healing UI, which looks a little bit more Havoc than it actually is, because there's so much stuff going on. Um, first of all, quite uh, general-looking frames. Uh, player, target, uh, boss frames. These come... I don't know if the timers, well, they're half crossing the character, so there could be a little bit, something done a little bit on, in this area to make sure that you can actually see under your character. Um, externals, um, rate cooldowns, quite okay, but they could be here using a little bit less space also, but that's a preference. But considering that there's information on the right side, it could make sense to have this information here on the left side, and that would give a, a lot of visibility in here. Um, an interesting place for note, I would say. Um, but, yeah. I'd say that if you'd move here, uh, this one here, and then you could use this one here, maybe better use of space, considering that this information would be closer to here, which would then obviously make the gap a little bit better than going like this with your eyes. Um, but generally speaking, I kind of like this UI. Very simplistic uh, in many ways. Then we get to a another priest setup. Um, this is actually a pretty interesting one. Um, I think the... Um, details is taking a bit... It's a bit space. It's spaced a little bit weirdly but that's the preference um i don't mind um weak chorus or something similar quite actually interesting to have him here considering that you have the frames and everything here but you also have serenity and sanctify uh, circle of healing so having the double placement um i think these are a little bit unnecessary uh, considering that everything is here and you've already packed the information quite nicely towards the bottom um, overall, this is a really clean UI. Um, the target and, and player and target frame is actually quite funky. I, I'd say it m must have taken a while to get used to it. Um, but yeah, basically, 
because all the other all this information that you have in here and here is already visible in here you could just uh, apply the shiny stuff to here and yeah you could eliminate this but um if you want to have them double why not but overall really nice looking ui um this is invase and from artificer ximox um it's a little bit chaotic, in my opinion. Um, also, there's a lot happening here uh, at the boss also. But um, the weak aura string is huge um, compared to the rest of the UI, for example. So this is all looking pretty good. But then this weak aura, you could... We're actually using the same weak aura string. So you could actually decrease the size by half. I'd say you'd save a ton of space here. Um, boss frame, interesting placement, but considering um, it's not really relevant per se, always. Um, you could have boss frames on the here on the right side, um, would maybe make them a little bit easier targetable. Um, rate cooldowns, you could have them here closer to the frames, um, but generally speaking, um, pretty okay, but this weak aura string is, is way too big for the UI, uh, I must say. And with that said, we are towards the end. Um, thank you for watching. Please leave your comments below. Um, one thing that I forgot to mention is an add-on called ERT, Exorcist Raid Tools. Um, it gives you the ability to make these notes. You get the raid tool banner on the top and there's a lot of cool little features that are going to help you, you raid um so please make sure to download exorcist raid tools um because these cooldowns also come from it for example um that's it from today thank you for watching and i hope you have a great day and enjoy your days in shadowlands ciao ciao